When it comes to health and wellness, it's often an area that gets completely overlooked, but actually gives you the most bang for your buck. That is self-care. In this video, I wanna teach you how you can effortlessly take self-care in your own hands and actually feel healthy for once. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. Self-care is important. It's possibly more important than anything else in the health and fitness industry. And the reason is, well, many of us like to go beat our bodies up, do curls, bench, run, spend hours doing a marathon, and all these other things that seem great externally because we are people who like to parade and applaud tons of different masochistic, uh, stretch yourself out, get no sleep type behaviors in our society. Self-care is arguably not only more important, but more beneficial for longevity and for honestly becoming the best version of yourself. So I want to give you five different easy ways to practice self-care and start to remember who you are and really achieve the benefits of fulfilled health. Self-care tip number one is to spend time alone. You have to spend time alone. If you don't spend time alone, you are going to go stir crazy and you're not actually being with yourself. And self is the first part of the word of self-care. Maybe that's 10 minutes a day. Maybe that's you planning a date and taking yourself out to an actual lunch or a dinner or whatever, set a reservation, make it special for yourself. You are you, you need to love you and you need to become you. And so by going and doing these things with yourself, you will become more in touch with yourself. That's the whole point behind something like a Savasana meditation or going on one of these retreats where you don't talk for 10 days and you just get to be yourself. Tip number two is use what you have, resources available, get massages, uh, foam roll, do breath work, do these things which turn you internally and don't stress you out and allow you to be more grounded and rooted in who you are. Feel good and let your body be free for a while. That's something that a lot of us neglect is movement, massage, rolling, breath work, expansion, allowing yourself to be who you are. These self-care techniques will change the way that you see yourself, but also increase the health and vibrancy and the movement that you are capable of doing because you're allowing stretching out the muscle and increasing the rate of ATP that you can do. Or with the massage, you're getting human touch, something that a lot of us neglect and we don't even know that we neglect it until we get it and we don't realize that that is a root cause of what is actually harming us. Tip number three is set up a bedtime routine that revolves around self-care. And so what I mean is a lot of us have bedtime routines, but they're not really related to self-care. We end up rushing through our bed routine to jump into sleep, to rush through sleep, to then do, I don't know what, wake up and rush the next day. And so by setting a self-care routine that actually allows you to embody self-care instead of rushing to get things done, because I have to do everything every day, you're going to more effectively be with yourself, providing self-care, getting the health that self-care then reciprocates back to you. See, that's the thing. By being good with yourself, health is naturally the outcome. And so, for instance, a sample night routine, maybe you stop looking at your phone two hours before bed, you turn on, uh, maybe you light a candle, maybe you have essential oils going, you read for a few hours, you journal, you coast in a sleep with some light piano music. All that is so good for you and it's gonna make you feel good and it's gonna let you sleep better and it's gonna let you be more with yourself and then comes the health. Tip number four is make time for thinking. Stress boils up in us, physiological stress and mental stress. And the body almost doesn't see a difference because if we are stressed mentally, cortisol and adrenaline are high. If we're stressed physically, cortisol and adrenaline are high. And a lot of times that happens because we don't set aside time to think. And when we don't set aside time to think, all those thoughts echo in the background. Anybody who's done any exercises like Eckhart Tolle suggests where you watch the watcher knows that not only the forefront of our thoughts are happening, but we also are viewing our thoughts from a different basically armchair seat that allows us to see what's going on. But when we are in shambles and we have all these different things going on in our mind, we often push all of that aside, press play on some loud music so we can't really hear the chaos that's going on in our mind, and instead try 
try to drown that out by focusing on other tasks. But by making time for thinking, we can start to reduce the mental stress, which reduces the physiological stress, which allows us to care for ourselves and our minds and our thoughts, which then comes out as health. So make time for thinking. Tip number five for self-care is just go and play. Just be a little kid, experience play. Most of us never set time for play. We don't allow ourselves to play. We can't be goofy. I'm a businessman. I wear a suit. Don't do that. You need to be goofy. You need to have fun. You need to live your life and play. And there's so much research I'm going to link below about how play actually leads to a decreased ability to get something like dementia because we're not following your traditional path of life. We actually get to make choices and do things that don't have outcomes, but also increases in metabolism, increases in our perspective view of ourselves, decreases in depression and just about everything else. So go out there and play. Get some Legos, get a ball, kick it against the wall, have fun, go to a playground, be the weird old guy who slides down a slide, do whatever it takes to play. Those are your five tips for how to use self-care to increase healthcare and why it is so damn important. Drop below your favorite self-care practice. Otherwise, make sure you press subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.